Hello! Welcome to the Guide Night YouTube channel. From poorly ported console games to action adventures and racing simulators, there are more than a few cases where a gaming keyboard and gaming mouse aren't necessarily going to be the best input options for PC games. It's easy to swear by a keyboard and mouse where twitchy response and pixel perfect aim are concerned. But there's a huge arena where different gaming controllers can have an edge while playing on a gaming PC. If you're playing a fighting game, you may get more satisfaction out of the buttons on a controller, which you can frantically mash. If you're flying through space in an intense dogfight, holding a thumbstick down to perform a series of moves and turns can be a lot easier than hurriedly throwing your mouse around your desk in an attempt to maneuver smoothly. And let's not forget that analog inputs have some advantages over the all or nothing binary controls all over mice and keyboards. Just try slowing accelerating in a racing game with a keyboard. Beyond traditional gaming controllers, there's also a host of specialized controllers, like joysticks and fight sticks, that are made to excel in specific types of games. Number 3. Sony DualShock 4 Wireless Controller The Sony DualShock 4 Wireless Controller is somewhat smaller than the Xbox controller making it a more comfortable choice for those with smaller hands. It also has more comfortable control sticks than the Xbox controller, as well as a left position directional pad that's more comfortable for playing 2D games. It has some nice extra features that the Xbox controller lacks, such as an internal rechargeable battery and a touchpad that can simulate a mouse cursor. But making it work with non-Steam Windows or macOS games takes some extra effort, and headsets plugged into its audio jack don't work properly with computers unless you buy Sony's USB wireless adapter. Many games also assume an Xbox button layout, and as a result, it can be confusing when the game button labels don't match the buttons on your controller. We like the DualShock 4 better for PC gaming than the PlayStation 5's DualSense controller, which has the same shortcomings, but is physically larger and more expensive. Number 2. Power A Enhanced Wired Controller For a controller that doesn't stray too far from the shape and feel of Microsoft's own Xbox controller, the Power A Enhanced Wired Controller is a strong option that ditches wireless connectivity in order to hit a low price point. Since using the Xbox Core controller wirelessly with a PC requires a special adapter anyway, or Bluetooth, many of us probably would opt for a wired connection. The Power A Enhanced offers that at around half the price. No batteries required. The controller itself provides a decent bit of heft, aided along by two vibration motors. It's got all the buttons you need for your games, and even takes a page out of the Xbox Elite controller's book. On the underside of the Power A Enhanced controller, you'll find two small buttons that can serve as shortcuts to face buttons. That allows you to keep your thumbs firmly in place on the analog sticks, while still being able to activate abilities mapped to the ABXY controls. However, Holding on to this controller, when your hands get sweaty can prove a bit challenging due to the lack of rubberized grips. Number 1. Xbox Core Controller If you're searching for a controller with a quality design and ample flexibility in how you use it to game on your PC, the Xbox Core Controller is a solid place to start. Microsoft has created an ergonomic controller that's easy to hold onto thanks to added grip on the sides and rear of the controller. Even the triggers have more grip on them. The buttons and triggers have the familiar Xbox layout we love, while the D-pad got an upgrade with a new design, similar to the Xbox Elite controller. It's more tactile now, too. Using the Xbox Accessories app, you can also remap a good portion of the buttons, making it a perfect partner for your PC. There's ample versatility in how you connect the device to your PC. A wired USB connection helps cut down input lag, while Bluetooth is available as a wireless alternative. A low-latency wireless connection is even available if you have an Xbox wireless adapter for PC. Also, on the controller is a 3.5mm jack for your headset, limiting the number of wires running between you and your PC. You are new here subscribe our channel and like the video.